All right, so this video is gonna go over how to do the HVAC uh, actuator recalibration. And a lot of people have these issues with these uh, these years for the trucks, uh, the Tahoe's and the Suburbans. And basically what happens is um, you'll turn on your AC or your air and you'll get either hot air out of the driver's side and cold air out of the passenger side, or it could be vice versa. And it, it basically just has to do with your actuator. It's uh, It needs to be recalibrated. So to recalibrate it, you're gonna turn off your vehicle You're gonna come out to the engine fuse box. You're gonna search for your fuse, which says HVAC EAS ECAS, which is a 10 amp. And as you can see on mine right here, it's a little torn up because I've had to pull it out to actually do the recalibration. So with everything off, you're gonna pull that fuse out for 10 to 15 seconds. And then you're gonna put that fuse back in and then you're going to go back in the truck, you're going to start it. So once you're back in the truck and you start it, if you do have a digital uh, display, it's going to go to auto, which is going to be both sides are going to be auto. You're going to let it do its thing. It's going to you're going to hear it moving around down there, the actuator. And it takes about 40 seconds for everything to recalibrate um, after it's recalibrated then you can shut it off and then turn it back on. But while it's recalibrating, you wanna make sure that you don't touch any of the controls um, on the HVAC system. <clears throat> and this only goes for the one that's electronic. If you have um, a HVAC system that is the manual controls, um, that's gonna be vacuum related. So um, that'd be a whole different video because you're not gonna be pulling any fuses, you're gonna be searching for vacuum lines. So yeah, that's how you recalibrate uh, the HVAC actuator system.